Good afternoon. This is Sherry with Creating Cards with Sherry, and I'm so glad that you have decided to join me today for my Tickle Tuesday video. Today, we are going to be focusing on um, a new set that came out in our mini catalog called On the Horizon, and it's a beautiful set. I, I just, when I got, or when I was first introduced to it, which was during our um, fall conference, I couldn't believe how gorgeous this paper was that came with it. I just have to show you all the different colors. There's this one, and then this side to it. All right, and this one, look how gorgeous they are. Oh, and once you use them, they're so peaceful. It, it's just unbelievable. This side. So all of these have um, like background images so that you can do landscape or anything like that. And uh, then they have solid backs. <clears throat> Aren't they pretty? Oh, I just think they are so gorgeous. And this one, nice hillside, flowers and stuff in it. And that one's not quite as solid. It's got a few more things that you can do with it. And this one, I don't know if that belongs that way or this way. It might be more so this way because here's the green and that looks more like sky. And your water in between has a full green background. And then this one. And uh, my lighting is not really doing it justice with the colors. You, It's just so, they're so beautiful. And... Uh, it, and I and I introduced that to you because our paper pumpkin this month is called Beyond the Horizon, and it's going to use um, colors and paper from this set, I believe. It um, so it you just don't want to miss it because it is so beautiful and so fun to use. And today we're going to make a special kind of card with it. I'm just going to show you some of the other things that I got. These are uh, pebbles, enamel-shaped uh, pebbles uh, as our embellishments. These, the bundle came with some dies, although you will not get these dies in the um, paper pumpkin kit. But they have different dyes. You can do a fence or some mountain scenes, some landscaping hills. Um, you can put some trees and some houses. Um, this can represent a brick layer or something else, whatever you want to do. Um, so that is a really nice set. Today I'm using the fence line. All right. And then this is our stamp set. Now, that's what I meant by the brick. Or if, uh, maybe it's even wooden more than brick. So you could do a, a wooden um, fence or something like that. Uh, so thinking of you, thanks for everything. Relax and enjoy your day. Wishing you so much happiness. There's some birds and some weeds and all sorts of fun things on here that you can use. So that's what we're using today, and we are going to make, this is a special technique, this is a gatefold card, but this is, call, this is called a lock and slide card. So the lock keeps the two sides together so they won't move, but you can slide it off and open your card for your greeting, okay, or for your message. And uh, we're, I'm going to show you how to make one of these cards today. As you can see, I used the fence on this one and put a couple pebbles on. And so we're going to take a look at that even on this card that we're doing. All right. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need several circles. And I, I, I use my layering circle dies like I always seem to be using. And um, this is the two and a quarter inch scallop. So you'll, if you want to do it the way I did it, you'll want um, the, the two and a quarter inch scallop. You'll need four white, two inch white 
circles. Actually, you only need three, but I chose to use four, and I'll explain why as we go through the demonstration. And then you need one other uh, two-inch circle that is just color coordinating with everything else. I, I chose the pale papaya. All right. Then here's my fence cutouts. Then what I did is I took one of those strips or one of those um, sheets of the DSP and this is the one that I chose and um, if you, uh, let's see. I can't grab it, there we go. If you look at this, this isn't quite the same size. I'll tell you what I did. So I took the sheet and I cut it down the middle because I wanted the middle to be the two that meet each other in the center, okay? So I did that, and then I cut off what I didn't need on either side, made sure that these were two and an eighth wide, okay? And then this is, uh, so these are two and an eighth wide and by five and a half. I made them so that they'll fit the whole card, all right? And then you'll need your five and a quarter by four uh, basic white for your inside. This is five and a half by eight and a half scored on both sides at two and an eighth. So what I did is I took, I did the, um, with my trimmer, I have this little button here that just scores. So I, I measured it up to two and an eighth. I scored it on that side. Then I just turned it around and I scored it at two and an eighth again. All right. Um, so it's it's real easy to do it that way. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start by, let's see, I think I marked these left and right. So I made sure I put them down right too. <clears throat> I'm going to start by placing this in my middle. So I'm going to take my stamp and seal. And I'm going to just adhere the glue. And we'll put that right in the center. Okay, then I'm going to take my bone folder. And I like to fold these twice or burnish these twice. I'll flip it over on one side and then I burnish them on the other side. Trying to get an extra in, uh, crease to it so that it will lay flatter. So again, burnish it on one side with it flipped one way and then I flip it again the other way. Okay. All right. Then what we're going to do is I will put these on. This is my left. So I'm going to put this on the left side of my card. Match it right up with everything. There we go. And this is the right. And I'm going to match it up with all the edges on the right side. And then you'll see they don't meet completely in the middle, but that's okay. Because um, we'll get it so that it looks good. But you can see where my center m met when I first cut it out. Yeah, you can maybe even burnish that a little differently so that, well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, 
Then what we're going to do is I'm going to stamp uh, what I need to stamp. We're going to put our sentiment on this circle and I'm using the Evening Evergreen. Relax and enjoy your day. Okay, and then one other stamp that I wanted to do with the black memento. I'm going to do something a little different, and I'm going to take some, just some scratch paper of some kind. Let's see, that's going to be too big. And I'm just going to put it underneath here so that it doesn't um, stamp on my inside there. These are the birds. I'm going to take the birds and I want to make sure that they're all flying in the same direction. Okay, there we go. I can ink those up. Press this down. And there's our birds. Okay, I rocked it too much so I got some other stuff on there which is isn't the best but we're going to keep going with this card because i don't have another one ready at this time all right um and then we're going to begin to assemble everything now with my tombow multi-glue i am going to put my fences on and i'm going to raise them a little bit Instead of putting them down here, I'm going to raise them just a little bit this time. Same thing with this side. Just going to put some light strips or um, just a little bit of glue on each one of these posts. Okay. Now, the reason I have four circles is because the one circle is going to help me center everything so that I get uh, everything on here the way it needs to be. All right, so I'm just going to take this, and I want to make sure that it gets right smack dab in the middle of this circle. And that looks pretty close. So I'm going to do that, and then I have two circles that I'm going to fold in half. And this is going to be our locking mechanism. So I'm going to fold these two in half. And I'm going to put glue on one side. Oh, well, that was silly. And I'm going to match it up with this circle. And that circle just helps me center it correctly so that it will fit on our card. And we're going to turn this over, and that will be the locking mechanism. As you can see, it goes right in there and right in there, and that will hold our card together. All right, and then I'm going to take, oh, I forgot to do one more. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't holding it as well as I thought. And we're going to take our last circle, and we're going to put that on top of it to keep it strong. Okay, there, yeah, that should work better now. Okay, so we're going to put the locking 
on both sides. And the reason I put it on there, that holds it much better. The reason I put it on my card first is so that I have this right. If I try and put this on here off to the side, I could get it crooked somehow, and I don't want to do that. So I want to make sure that my saying is going to go exactly where it needs to be. And that is right there. And there you have your card. And it holds it together, and it slides around. So you can take it off at either end. And then you can write your message inside. Isn't that cool? I just love those. I saw this video from another demonstrator. Cindy B. Lee is her name. And uh, she... Um, She, she demonstrated how to make these lock and slides, and I thought they were so cool. And, of course, I can't get it in there now. Okay. And uh, decided to do one myself. So that's how you make those. And um, this is an exciting card to give with those beautiful designs. Again, if you want to see those designs and work with them, Order your paper, March Paper Pumpkin. You have till the 10th to order it. And um, then we will have, then you'll have just the beauty of everything to put these together as well. All right. I have no idea what's all going to be in that kit, but I'm excited about it. Oh, I forgot to put my petals on. Let's see here. I'm going to take it. Get my take your pick thing, and let's see. I think I'm going to put one there. Ah, uh oh, where'd it go? I lost it. Let me get the next one. They're a little stubborn to pick up. There we go. <laughs> they either all want to come or <laughs> not at all. <laughs> all right. Do those. And then let's just add some on the other side. All right. Maybe that's not the best tool to use. Maybe this one will work better. Aha. Okay. And then we're just going to put these down. All right. There we go. Now the card is finished. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am excited about this weekend's, this Sunday's simple Sunday video that's coming up. I'm going to be demonstrating a brand new product that has come out. I can't wait to get it. And it's coming in the mail this week. And I am looking forward to taking a peek to it. Uh, the only thing I can tell you right now about it is if you are one that loves to be organized and or you're a list maker, um, what else? You need little reminders to tack up so that you remember to do things. Uh, if you have a college student that makes lists and has um, is very organized that way, or maybe a teenage daughter or son, I suppose. Um, I, for some reason, I picture a daughter more than a son, but that doesn't mean anything. The men can be just as organized. Um, this product that I'm going to be showing you on Sunday will uh, help everyone 
keep their lives a little more organized than they were before. And so you will definitely want to see it. Um, I am working on Sunday. I'm working Sunday evening. Um, so I'm going to try to get the video out before I go to work. And, um, and so, but it'll be online for you to see at any time. Okay, I'm not going to be doing any more lives for a little while. Uh, because my lighting is not working properly and we're hoping this weekend to get a good start on that and then um, they will appear a lot more more professional and and look better so for now I'm doing all these recorded ahead of time and uh, we will go from there all right thank you so much for joining me today you have a fantastic week